Good morning and welcome to day 25 of my 30 videos, 30 days. Today is Friday. I have a really busy weekend ahead. Lily has a dance recital. <sighs> so, and that's taking up the whole weekend. So I'm also with Kristen's coming. I feel like a little bit overwhelmed with stuff, but I, I try to keep things as minimalistic as possible and stay carved up and that really helps. Uh, so, um, I'm just thriving on this challenge. I'm so happy I decided to do it because um, it's made me more accountable for my health in a sense that I wasn't consistently tracking my calories prior to this challenge and I don't think that I was eating enough, hence why I was like I was sick for like a month and I talked to I'm in um, Harley's coaching group and he said that it's probably because you're not eating enough carbs and in order to recover you need to eat enough carbs uh, so tracking my carbohydrate intake has really helped a lot um, and now I know what I need to eat in order to feel my best which is like getting up to a thousand grams of carbohydrates a day now that's gonna be different for you the way I've done this is that I kind of go by how I feel um, like I eat as much as I want and I put that in a chronometer you guys see that at the end of all my videos and then I take a look at the numbers specifically the macros as well as my sodium because right now I'm eating as much sodium as I want and I'm kind of getting a, getting an idea of how much I need to eat to feel my best and function my best so it's a really good idea if you're not using chronometer to use it don't <laughs> this is a mistake that a lot of people make they get kind of like oh I need to make sure I'm under eating every day and having a calorie deficit no you want to keep your fat low like around 10 grams a day is what I'm averaging or less and then my protein ranges anywhere from, I'd say on average it's 60 grams a day, but keep in mind I'm breastfeeding, so um, that makes a little bit of a difference there. I need more than a woman who is not. Um, but yeah, to get, a, get an idea of what your, number, your numbers on chronometer are and what you need to eat to feel your best. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up on the bike here. My goal today is to do 20K on the bike, get in a run. I have a concert to go to at Lily's school. All right, finishing up my miles for the day. Uh, I did a run. I did an incline run today, so I changed it up and I got two miles in doing that for 23 minutes and I had like 11, 30 mile pace. So it wasn't too bad. It felt good to, to change things up a bit. <clears throat> I was just feeling the incline, you know, hills are your uh, fitness friend. Um, yeah, so I'm finishing up for 20k on the bike. Then I'll show you what I have for breakfast. Dates for breakfast. Uh, yeah. Alright, Violet's getting a lunch booty. <laughs> That's what she calls it right now. And I'm getting a lunch smoothie. Mm. Can you guess what it is? Banana milkshake! Mm. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> bananas. Organic frozen bananas. Water. Coconut sugar makes for the perfect lunch. <laughs> Snacks. Mommy. Next snack. It's a snack attack snowman. <laughs> Salad wraps Love. with Spring mix, cucumber, bell pepper, rice, and some Tabasco sauce I put in there. Yummy! I already had two of these too. Alright, I'm having some rice. This is actually my second bowl. My first bowl was exactly the same as this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,